guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to my channel if you are new to the familia. So guys, I'm so excited because I'm back with another lip swatching video. So Milani just released all of these Keep It Full Max Plumping Lip Lacquers and I wanted to try them all out for you guys so you guys can see how they look, how they feel, how the textures are in studio lighting and in daylight. So if you're interested in seeing how it all goes down, lip swatching all of these Milani Lip Plumping Lacquers, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on because I'm always here and follow me on my socials because I'm always there too and let's get started. Hello guys, let's start. I'm so freaking excited. So I have nothing on my lips right now. I exfoliated yesterday so the lips are nice and soft. So Milani recently released these Max Plumping Glosses. Look how huge this thing is. When I saw it, I was like, like, is this for real? Like, it's huge. How big is this? 0.15 ounces. So these I got at Walmart. They retail for about $8. And they're essentially a full max lip plumper. It's an ultra plumping gloss with a high impact color and serious shine that helps visibly pump lip. I'm not too big on pumping, on pumping glosses because I don't know, I don't feel like they really work but it has mango seed oil for deep hydration let's see how they look and I got all 10 shades they're available in 10 shades and wow look how big this is this is huge oh it has a scent like a fruity scent and before we start I'm gonna show you guys the order we're gonna go in from lightest to darkest on my phone and here we go Hey guys, so I just want to show you guys how they look side by side. And this is actually the order we're going to go from left to right. So 110 all the way to 220. It's not really in order, but just want to give you guys this quick visual. So per the usual, we're going to do all lip swatches. And then at the end, we're going to talk about everything about these glosses, how they feel, how they look, if they plump and all that jazz. So this is the first shade. It's called Little Secret, number 110. And in daylight, this is the shade Little Secret. All right, guys, on to the next one, number 120, First Kiss. This is the shade First Kiss. And in daylight, this is the shade First Kiss. All right, guys, moving on to Situation Ship, number 130. This is the shade Situation Ship. And in daylight, this is the shade Situation Ship. All right, guys, next one is Single-ish. This is the shade Single-ish. And in daylight, this is the shade Single-ish. All right, guys, moving on to number 150, Super Like. This is the shade Super Like. And in daylight, this is the shade Super Like. All right, guys, moving on to the darker shades. Swipe right, number 160.
This is the shade Swipe Right. And in daylight, this is the shade Swipe Right. All right, guys, next is number 180, Left on Red. This is the shade Left on Red. And in daylight, this is the shade left on red. All right, guys, next is number 190, Bay. This is the shade Bay. And in daylight, this is the shade Bay. All right, guys, next is 210 in the DMs. This is the shade in the DMs. And in daylight, this is the shade in the DM. All right, guys, last and final one, number 220, no strings. This is the shade no strings. And in daylight, this is the shade No String. You guys, so this is it. This is the last lippy. I have a lot to say, a lot of words. Wow, wow. But before that, I wanna show you guys the swatches from the first shade to the last. So I always wanna show you guys these swatches so you guys can get a good visual of like the actual undertone on the arm but you know what let's back the camera up because we have a lot to talk about right here. hey guys i am back so i actually changed to the first shade which is little secret because the last shade no strings got a little bit messy wow guys wow 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 when i first got these i liked the shades i thought the shades were really pretty which is what attracted me to them i did see they were plumping but it's like yeah a lot of lip glosses say plumping and it just doesn't really plump you feel the tingling sensation and you know you call it a day but you guys this right here I didn't read at the beginning, but it has, I told you guys it has mango seed oil for deep hydration, hyaluronic acid for filling spheres to enable moisture retention, and chili pepper res resin for next level tingling sensation. And oh my God, the tingling sensation was intense to the point where it was spicy, stingy, and it was kind of like you ate mint all at the same time. It was pretty intense. So beware about that because I had no expectations of that at all. And I was like, what the fuck? I was even telling my boo like, oh my God, my mouth is literally tingling, like tingling like crazy. And it kind of activates within like the minute you place it on. I do see that the, the plumping did happen. I mean, the tingling was so intense, so something better happened because that tingling is crazy. But I did see a little bit of a plumping effect. I did see my lips look a little bit bigger and juicier, but nothing like crazy. I remember back in the day, like a long time ago, I used a MAC plumping gloss and I would use it all the time because I wanted those fuller looking lips. And my friend, I remember I lent it to her and she already had full lips. She didn't even know what the hell was happening because her lips were tingling and I had forgot to tell her that it was a plumping lip gloss. And anytime I think of plumping lip glosses, I think of that incident. She was just so like, 
what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You know what I mean? So these are very high shine and very, very highly pigmented, which is what I really like. One swipe will kind of get you most of the pigment, except for probably I would say the last shades. They're a little on the patchy side. Plums and burgundies tend to be patchy to begin with. You can even see in the swatches right here, they're a little patchy. And I actually want to show you guys some sunlight swatches so you guys can see how they look in sunlight on my arm and really get a good look at what the undertones are and the different shades. And the consistency is pretty, it's perfect. I feel like it's not too thin, it's not too thick. Your lips aren't sticky, like pretty comfortable, but you do feel something on your lips because of course it's freaking plumping like crazy. But now like that I've had this one on for a good five minutes, the plumping and tingling sensation has stopped. So that's good because it did creep me out a little bit. And you guys, look at the size of this lip gloss, lipstick plumping gloss. I just want to show you guys like the sizes other lip glosses I have and look how huge this thing is. <laughs> this thing is humongous. When I first saw it on the counter because I purchased mine at Walmart but Milani has them on their website too but Walmart is cheaper. I looked at these I was like this thing is huge and the doe foot is huge and I felt like the doe foot was going to be too big and take over my lips because I don't have the biggest lips. I don't have the most defined cupid's bow but this doe foot applicator because it's really really stiff it really worked to lip line your lips very nicely and pretty easily for the most part. When I do lip swatches I don't use lip liners or anything because I really want you guys to see the actual shade of the gloss. I personally always use lip liners to outline my lips and it also creates dimension on the lips so I do this anytime like I'm not filming. You guys I'm really shocked on the whole process of these lip glosses. They're very shocking and it is keep it full max. This is the most max, <laughs> if that's a word in this context, plumping I've ever had. But girl, these are crazy. But back to, they are a little bit on the messy side. The reason I changed my lip color was I wore my mask because I had to go downstairs and get some food and it smeared completely down here. So I'm like, you know what, let's just switch to the neutral shade and not be it not become a mess. So they are messy, they're not kiss proof. They like completely, completely transfer. So keep that in mind if you are going to wear your mask. Unless you have like the N95 that have that space, I know that's really helpful to not get your lipstick on. But other than that, these are really good. They're, they're just doing what the claims are and I could appreciate that. And of course it's drugstore. You get this huge lip gloss for eight bucks. I'm just reading this here and it says lip lacquer. I've been calling them lip glosses, but yeah, I could definitely see the lacquerness. I feel like they're like a good in between. They're very, very hydrating and moisturizing on the lips. They don't really feel dry. Do that pumping feel, but also very, very moisturizing. So that's kind of nice. It does have like a element of like lip balm-esque to the lips, like feeling to the lips, you know? And yeah, guys, I think this is it. I'm like way too excited because like at the beginning, I was like, yeah, I got these just to lip swatch them, but I just like the shades were really pretty, but I saw the size. You get your money's worth for this. And like the actual plumping that it actually does it. And it's not a gimmick girl i'm all in there so yeah guys this is it i love you guys so much let me know what you think about these lip glosses have you tried them out have you seen them around let me know your thoughts because my mind's blown right now and guys let me know which one is your favorite color because i actually love them all the ones i didn't really like was i think maybe these two one was kind of cool because it has like a brown and also like a purple undertone to it but i don't know they're kind of patchy but Plum shades like these are always pretty patchy. This is the shade No Strings and in the DMs. Oh, I love these reds though. These like deep reds. Oh, I love them. But let me know which one's your favorite. But I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.